It's Snow White, man. It's Mac Bundles in this building. You heard me? You heard me? Know what it's on. Know what I be on, bro. Y'all know what I be on. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go cop that that new that new uh, that new tape I got coming too. You know what I'm saying? The label told me not to drop the tape. I said fuck them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to say big shout out white folks. You know, you know he with the other side and I kind of find that chain he wearing disrespectful at the same time. Where I'm from, it's not always interpreted disrespectful because of certain shit. It could also be interpreted disrespectful. The, uh, the equivalent of dropping the choke in some instances. But I know, man, like I said, like white folks said, man, we just get money, bro. It's all about money, bro. You ain't kill none of my people. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't try to kill me, if you, you know what I'm saying? We never had no issue, none of that. It, you know, it's all love, man. Right? I got friends that's four, I got friends that's, you know what I'm saying, 60, I got friends that's 50, I got friends that's great, I got friends that's, you know, shout five five lilac in the bill, I got friends that's lokes, you know what I'm saying, I got, obviously I got friends that's, you know what I'm saying, with my peoples and shit, not from, hey, don't send Rico to me, man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, except my, you know what I'm saying, shout my brew, all that shit, man, uh, you know, I just want to give a shout out to Bullets Gotti, man, for all the fuck with your boy. Uh, make sure you go cop the Mac Bundles DVD. It's hitting stores soon. The, the It's called Project Mac Bundles. We're going to have that rolled out soon. We're going to start doing DVDs, yeah. So, like, once that's out, I'll have a link for you where you can go cop that at. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be $17.99. Free shipping and handling. Hopefully, we gotta see how that work out. But yeah, we gonna we gonna we gonna put this DVD out. It's gonna be called Project Matt Bundles. Um, so I wanna let y'all know, keep an eye out for that in your hood, in your local corner store, at your 7-Eleven, 4 a.m. in the morning. You know, coming up to see while you trying to pump your gas, talking about if you wanna buy this for ten dollars. Yeah, that all that. <laughs> You know, I just want to let motherfucker know the motherfucker try to say I was clout chasing. They try to say I was clout chasing. I said, I ain't clout chasing. I'm bag chasing. Dude, we different. We build different. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'd rather have no one know who the fuck I am and be rich as hell. I can't say I'd, I'd rather be like that, but I wouldn't mind if no, like, I don't care how many people know who the fuck I am. I'm, I'm like locally famous in the tri-state area almost on the streets. I'm famous in prison. You you understand how many people, especially in summertime, because everybody outside, how many people I've had come up to me and ask for a cigarette, be like, I know you from somewhere. I go, was you at Robinson? Yeah. Or how many people I'll just hear out their car, or, or like we're literally just like who I'm chilling with be like, man, bundles. Saying, but people know about me. When you do a lot of shit that's like a highlight reel of violence, people tend to remember you. I got someone, bro, it's sad, bro. <laughs> just off C of E. Cause I beat up I beat up four people. She was one of them. Nah, nah, listen, don't call my mom's a bitch. I'm sorry what happened to your car. Listen, your friends, it was three dudes who got this bitch into this shit, right? I try to play it off, right? I, I ain't gonna say, I, I just, you know, they didn't, they was mad about something. So fuck you. They in my parents' driveway, we all trying to like, I'm trying to get them to leave. My boy, brother Len is in the house with the bread, holding it down. Me and Trell is outside. And at the time, we got cars pulling up back to back to back. So now, like, the first car, which is the ones that I'm finessing and trying to like, get them to leave, there's now, like, three other cars waiting on other shit, all that's, like, formed a crowd around this shit. So the bitch who's driving the car made the dumbass mistake of calling my mom's a bitch. Now, I was already, like, in the mode where I was like, I'm going to have to fucking handle this. They're not just going to leave. I'm going to have to whoop their ass. Fucking, so I had the skateboard in my hand. Plus, that's how I got the money back to the house, passed it off to land, land ran through the golf course, and we was in my parents' crib. <laughs> you know, so like the dude with the money, they don't even know where he is. Like, so <laughs> this shit was funny as hell, bro. This shit was like, this was back 2015. This was, this was, this is way out the statute of limitations. Like, 
So fucking. Plus, I ain't doing nothing illegal. I just got him to leave my crib. I ain't fighting them or nothing. <laughs> and the police showed up, and that's what I told them. Police, because they came back and they shot my neighbor car up. They tried to get get back, and they fucked my neighbor car up. They didn't even fuck my car up. And I think that's why they came back. They had that little kid B come back and, and take my lawnmower. So they're like, fuck, we didn't even get get back. I don't know if the police talked to them, because I ain't say shit. I ain't give them their names, none of that. I just said... No, some people showed up. They had an issue with me. That they, I asked them to leave. They wouldn't leave, so I got them to leave. That's all that happened. And he, the cop tried to be like, well, I heard that there was like a fight or something. I said, officer, I've been in fights. I've been in some real fights. Like, that's not a fight. That was me getting people to leave, and they left. And I was able to, without telling them nothing, just by saying, knowing what I could say within the law, I knew the moment I said, oh, yeah, man, I whooped that shit. Bro, it's handcuffs. I'm like, no. They wouldn't leave my parents' property. I got them to leave. That's within the legal castle doctrine of Connecticut. I did not leave my property. Brick apartments. And I forgot yeah, this one part. Like I said it was over some man. beef that happened on Facebook. Smack man, bundles man, the man, DVD. Man, Coming man. soon to your hood. Yeah, man, I ain't go, oh, it was CJ. It was Cobra Jet Nam. It was Jessen. It was Cobra Jet. It was his girl, B, who now has a sideways diagonal Tyra Banks headline. The bitches hit. They still with each other because she can't get with nobody else and neither can he because I heard he he got the baby dick. Literally, his yeah, government man. name, the reason like he sees it is not Chris Johnson, with not Chris John. It's for Cobra candy Jet. Candy your parents, candy. when you were born, your birth certificate decided Cobra candy Jet. Candy like, and that motherfucker Austin, bro, who y'all try to big up, y'all try to big up the weirdest people, bro, like Johnny and fucking Austin, bro. Johnny and fucking Rat, and Austin ain't hard at all. If Austin's hard because of Johnny, I never did, I never fought Johnny, but I fought Austin. Austin a bitch. Him kicking me with steel toes didn't do shit, bro. I had him and three other people blood all over me, and not a single cut on me or a scrape. Them motherfuckers might have got STDs from each other. And that motherfucker ran. That motherfucker group hugged me, got on the ground and ran. And they came and poked three of my neighbor's tires out on his Land Rover. And he called the police. And I didn't even tell the police nothing. And I still ain't getting in trouble for nothing. And the statutes ran out. And I ain't even do nothing wrong, so it wasn't even, that didn't even matter anyway. But uh, now we're going to say, that's why I be skating too. Shit, I be skating too. You feel me? Hold on a second. It's like, shit. 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 I be skating too. You got knocked the fuck out. This shit ain't for no kickflips. This shit for kicking your ass. For kicking your ass is how I want to be remembered. All four of them got cut the fuck up. And we realized that once I was getting hosed off by my mom and there was there was no cuts. It was just all blood though. It looked like I was bleeding. I wasn't bleeding though. <laughs> but I'd be really bleeding for this shit. For real though, I was bleeding on them. So yeah, when, when, when basically they wouldn't leave and shit. I told them I had the shit, bro. I don't know why they still kept expecting me to like pull out my ass or something. I don't know why, but basically they fucking <laughs> They call one of them, I hear someone in the car call my mom's a bitch. I blacked out. That skateboard went, and keep in mind, there is a line of three cars in the driveway waiting on things to happen, watching this. That skateboard goes right through the bitch's front, front left headlight, driver's side headlight. The bitch gets out the car, starts running at me dolo. I take the skateboard, the bitch does a backflip. She might have done a double backflip. All the three other dudes get out the car. And, what, and keep in mind, like, two of these dudes in the sticks is, like, known for being, like, like, one of them's looked at like he's, like, the hardest motherfucker out. Like, he's the nastiest fighter out there. I made him do a backflip. They all did backflips. All of them back to back. It took them literally 30 seconds of getting their ass whooped with a skateboard for them to just literally, all four of them, the bitch too, group hug me. And like slide with me to the ground, and then the one who's like looked at it and being tough, like kicked me in the face twice. 
I was covered in blood. My mom was like, let me wait, let me uh, use the hose and get the, the cuts off you. And then as she's using the hose, there's no cuts on me. I have a little scrape on like my elbow. I think there was a tiny little thing on my, like when, when they finally got on my face, but I was not fucked up and my mom was shocked. And my, my little brother Trail was outside with me. He was like, bro, I knew I ain't even need to jump in. <laughs> like, he was like, I do. He's like, all he had to do was just try to keep one of them distracted at a time. So he would just like shove CJ. So it was only me fighting like two people, then three people. Then like, finally CJ jumped in at the end. I slipped up, I used his name, Cobra Jet. That's why he's CJ, his little name is Cobra Jet. You named your kid Cobra Jet. What, like, you see how white trash this place was? You see why I am the, why I'm like a hybrid of the way I am? Cause people where my parents live at be naming their kids CJ and it's not for Carl Johnson. It's not for Christopher Jones. It's not for Christopher John, it's for Cobra Jet. That motherfucker won't do shit. And, and, and so anyways, the big see me coming into the, I came into the Dunkin', right? She's pulling up in the parking lot while me and, me, me and my wife is going into the Dunkin'. She sees me and starts freaking out. <laughs> Having a panic attack just off seeing me. It felt it felt like that moment in, in it's Bleed by Biggie, Ninja's Bleed, you know what I'm saying? Where he's like, Gloria from Astoria. She went went to war with a peach in 91, stole a gun from my workers, and they took drugs. They tried to jerk us. We blazed, they blazed. Long story, she see my face, started breaking, shaking, like I thought I was coming for the safe. That's how this bitch was for 10 dollars. She literally started threatening to call the cops on me just off seeing me. And I ain't even break no laws. This bitch ordered her coffee, paid for it, and left the coffee there because, like, I just kept trying to, like, be like, yeah, so what you gonna do? You gonna call the cops? Like, I wasn't just gonna hit a girl. I wasn't just gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt bad because when I seen her, bro, she has a Tyra Banks headline that goes diagonally from her eye. Like, that skateboard made a dent like that in her face. It scarred her for life. I felt bad. Like, that was the first thing that, like, I said to her. I said, God damn, look at your forehead, bitch. Cause she came out, started tweaking. This motherfucker, he did it. Like in front of me and my wife, tweaking, bro. I, I, I didn't even see her first. She saw me first and started tweaking. <laughs> I was just catching records. Well, yeah, like, Matt Bundles and DVD coming soon, man. In your hood, in your local corner store, at the Blockbuster, at the Hollywood Video, all that. All that we doing, all that. At the gas station, 4 a.m. Crackhead Approach, you want to buy it. He got all them bootleg DVDs. It might be in there too, but don't buy it. And tell us that he trying to sell that so we can go extort his ass. Yeah, man. Back bundles, true Mac bundles origin story. I'm gonna start doing this a little bit now to hype the DVD up. So that when y'all see the real shit that I can't put on YouTube because it's too real for YouTube. It's too in the streets for this industry. Yeah, man. I'm out with this bitch. Stay blessed, stay up. God is king.